The top engine rebuild begins with removing the muffler. There are four cylinder and head hold down long studs, nuts, and washers. We can now examine the cylinder barrel. The nicosil is intact in most areas of the wall, but up in the ridge area you can see the scoring damage and signs of abuse from debris running through the upper cylinder. There's no damage to the engine beyond the upper cylinder wear and the valves which show an excessive amount of carbon and are obviously leaking. Part 1 covered the engine teardown and now we're about to remove the piston before engine reassembly. Remove the circlet with a needle nose pliers. The pin should come out by hand force and if not use a pin remover from a company like ProMotion. Pat and protect the connecting rod and check it for end play and side play. The chamfer at the bottom of the cylinder barrel enables compressing the rings with your fingers and allowing that tapered edge to catch the ring as you feed the piston carefully up into the barrel. Extra time spent with torquing and tightening fasteners to specifications listed in the Honda service manual is time well spent. Coat the timing chain sprocket and timing chain with lube guard or similar thin oil. Timing marks align. Install the upper engine support brackets between the frame and the top of the cylinder head cover. Use blue Loctite 242 on the nuts. Seat and fuel tank reinstalled. Fresh top end. Uncorked with a stage 1 hot cams camshaft. Proper tuning should produce 55 horsepower and approximately 50 pound-feet of torque.